things they don't tell you about solar thermal. Put the wrong solar thermal system in your house, not only will it not save you money, it might in fact end up costing you money. There are several types of solar thermal panel available within the UK market. There is this one, which is a flat plate collector. There is another one, which is an evacuated tube collector. We do not use evacuated tube collectors because we believe the maintenance is too heavy. It is the maintenance charge that can often make the difference between whether solar pays or doesn't pay. You can see the flashing light, that's reading the panel temperature. And the panel temperature at this particular moment is 127 degrees. The next light moves down and this shows you the flow temperature, the solar flow temperature. The next panel, the next light, shows you the stored temperature. And the next light shows you the uh, return temperature, the solar return temperature. So as you can see, we're at 68 degrees C here. We're at 69 degrees C in the store. And we're at 128 degrees C on the panel. If I turn the solar on, which I now will, you see that the pumps flash and we're now pumping taking water from the bottom of the vessel and pumping it through the panel. The noise you can hear there is the water coming back from the panel. And we're coming back at 4.6. It'll go up to about 9 litres per minute of water when both the pumps are running. That's the steam coming off the panel. So we're actually generating steam. And the temperature coming back from the panel is now 100 degrees C. So even though the air temperature is only 30, we're generating water temperature now 99. Because we've put colder water through the panel, this, te this temperature will drop. And we're now returning 98 degrees C, 97, and it'll drop to about 70 degrees C. And we will heat the water to about 70, 75 degrees C. So if we look back up at the panel temperature, you'll see that the panel temperature is now 121. This will continue to decline until it gets to about 90 degrees C, 95. Put the wrong solar thermal in. Not only will you never get your money back, it might even cost you money. More importantly, put the wrong solar thermal in in the wrong system. It might even kill you. Our systems differ in that we don't use a cylinder. We don't use a twin coil cylinder. We use a thermal store. A thermal store stores the energy from the solar so you have no volume, you have no stagnant and you have no areas of the tank that aren't at 65 degrees C. Therefore you have no Legionella problem. So when you're selecting your solar thermal be sure you've selected the correct system. Be sure that Legionella cannot bloom in your tank be sure that your system is cost effective and make sure you've selected the safe most effective solar thermal system available to you.